that ball is about. So when they talk about immigration, they're not talking about that. They're talking about labor. They're talking about workers and how the capitalists are going to try to get the cheapest labor they can. And they're going to import it again just like they imported Filipinos. Like they imported Chinese, like they imported Koreans, like they imported people from Puerto Rico, like they enslaved African Americans because they want cheap labor for agriculture. Now many of you don't know that agriculture is one of the, the crux of the NAFTA, TPA, and now the Trans-Pacific Pact. It's about cheap, dumping, dumping cheap agricultural commodities in other countries to drive workers into the global workforce here. Now I know a lot of people, they go shopping here in the Ferry Building and they think they're gonna have some good food here. Well, let me tell you, you come down to my farm and what is good food? If they have poisoned the earth and they have polluted the air and they have contaminated the water, what do you think is being grown that's pure? I don't care how much of organic labeling you have, we're all in it at the same time. So I'm going to remind people one thing. You know, we grew up on a lot of lies. And one of the biggest lies is how the West was won. Okay? According to Hollywood, it was the Cowboys and Indians, and we beat the Indians by warfare. That's a lie. The way this country, this was it, the way this country took this continent and all the Americas was through hunger and disease. That's how, that's how capitalism took the land here. They starved. And if they didn't starve you, they put, they brought so many diseases from Europe that they decimated the tribal peoples of the Americas. So what do you think is happening now? What do you think? We have this epidemic of diseases. Why does almost every family have cancer and diabetes and high blood pressure? And not only that, we have the, grow, the highest growing rate of mental and emotional illnesses in this country. And it's all tied to food. So as long as they cannot unionize the agricultural sector in this country, they're going to continue in this evil, insidious way of industrializing agriculture. So I want to leave it with you. You know, Filipinos, we've always had our sharp differences with the UFW and the Chavez faction. But one thing is clear. Workers working in the fields, in the packing house, in the slaughterhouses are not unionized. And the legacy, and the legacy that we took from the ILW is that they trained a Filipino collective leadership that was able to launch the 1965 Great Strike. That legacy has to be rebuilt. We have to unionize and organize agricultural workers in this country if we are to really bring this system to become a humane and decent one.